RoboSport uses a special construction method which has a three-layered closed-cell foam backing. In this film, we present the cost-cut installation of the Grabosport plastic floor covering using a partial sticking method. It is known as the semi-loose lace installation method. In addition to proper sports footwear, the quality of the floor covering is another critical factor for the protection of the athlete's back, knees, and ankles. The Grabosport absorbs the excess kinetic energy so that this sports floor helps to protect the athlete's joints and cartilages. The product complies with the EN 14904 sports flooring standard, and according to the test results, this sports surface has been rated into the point elastic category. Grubble Sport is a very durable sports floor. Its tech service top layer ensures a high abrasion resistance, and its polyurethane treatment provides an easy-to-clean property. It is an eco-friendly, healthy product that does not contain any harmful substances. Thanks to its highest coefficient of friction, the risk of slipping and gripping can be reduced to a minimum during sports activities. Preparation of the subfloor. The Garbo sports floor can be laid on a leveled, absorbent surface, but it is also suitable to furbish an existing old sports surface as well. Since the vinyl floors do not let vapors pass through, it is important to make sure that the subfloor system has insulation against water and the subfloor is permanently dry. The residual moisture of the subfloor could not exceed 2 cm percent in order to avoid bubbling and blistering of the sports cover. When the subfloor is dry, the preparation of the service can begin with the use of a suitable primer and a leveling agent. This film was made in an elementary school and it shows the surface being renewed. The first and most important step was to clean the existing vinyl floor covering of anti-adhesive materials such as grease, oil, and wax. For this purpose, we chose the Clean and Strip Basic Cleaner from the Dr. Schutz Company. After cleaning, we removed the detergent residues with clear water two times, then we let it dry. Where there were damages under the old floor, or there were gaps and other places missing, for example along the walls, we use Thompson RS-88 repairing and leveling mortar to adjust the proper level. After drying, it was sanded, and then the sanded parts were removed. After this, the defective parts of the old vinyl floor were repaired. We removed the damaged parts, and the new vinyl floor pieces with the same thickness were put into place. We used Tomsit K1720 contact adhesive for bonding and coating the back side of the new floor pieces and the surface of the old one as well. Finally, we put Tomsit FF69 mastic on the places where there were defects in the old joints. The highly flexible mastic Tomsit FF69 is suitable to hide an unevenness of one millimeter. Therefore, it is necessary to check the plane accuracy of the existing cover using a level and a screen wedge. We use this mastic in one or two layers to eliminate the unevenness of the subfloor in order to avoid any unevenness to the new surface. Drying time between the layers is 12 hours, and the plaster surface can be glued with Tomsit K188 E glue after 24 hours. The sports flooring rolls should be stored in a standing way prior to the installation. The room temperature and the temperature of the subfloor must be a minimum of 15 degrees Celsius. Cut the floor to size, leave a 5 to 10 centimeter surplus at both ends, and give the unfolded floor 48 hours to relax. Mark the center line of the hall by length and width and start laying the floor from the central point. Normally, the direction of the floor lay-in is in the longitudinal direction. In special cases, for example, in the case of a small-sized room, you can deviate from this. After relax and lay the floor strips next to each other, starting from the center, leaving a small gap between them. The size of the gap between the floor strips is similar to the thickness of a credit card. The width of the sports floor is two meters so that the number of joints is not too much and the finished surface is more aesthetic. Pay attention to avoid that the joints of the old floor are not the same as the joints of the new cover. Before gluing, fold back the flooring strips to half. Mark the free edges of the subfloor with a continuous line using a pencil. Use Tomsit K188E for gluing. 
This glue has excellent initial bonding and it can be used as a contact adhesive for vinyl floors. Use a spatula and an A4 coating plate when applying the glue. The width of the coating should be 40 to 50 centimeters, which is equal to the width of two spatulas. Coat the glue so that the marked line should be halfway. The adhesive should be gently rolled out uniformly in order to be smooth and even so that it will not be visible on the new sports floor. Then fold back the floor and sheets into glue strips. Smooth and rub the floor with a hand roller so that the glue layer adheres on the back side of the flooring as well. After this, again fold back the floor sheet and let the glue dry on the subfloor and on the sports floor backing as well. With this method, the adhesive can dry in a shorter time, approximately 60 to 90 minutes, because it is in contact with the air on both surfaces and dries more quickly than in case of a one-sided coating. The glue is completely dry when its color is yellowish and does not stick to the finger when you touch the glue, but you can feel that it has a strong grip. There is no risk of over drying the glue because this glue sticks perfectly even hours later. The big problem is that you place the sports floor too early onto the adhesive which is not fully dried. Once the glue is completely dry, the sports floor sheets are folded back again. They should be exactly fitted into their place and fixed permanently to the edges, making sure not to leave any air bubbles underneath this and thoroughly rolling the floor out by hand. After gluing the first part of the sports floor, cut to size at the walls and doors. Repeat the previous procedure for the gluing of the parts of the other sports floors. All gravel sports floors are engineered to ensure the best achievable conditions for the ultimate athletic performance while at the same time offering the maximum health safety to the athletes. The gravel sports surface has been rated into a point elastic category. The excellent force reduction provides joint and cartilage protection for the children and for the amateurs who do not have well developed muscles. However, this floor also protects the health of professional athletes as well. The Grubbo sports floor can be specially used for various sports, for example, for handball, volleyball, basketball, futsal, and so on. Therefore, we recommend this product for gyms and for multifunctional and recreational sports halls. This new cost-saving installation method can be used for the installation of the Grabo Sport Supreme and the Grabo Sport Extreme flooring too. After gluing down all the flooring, roll the joints using a 50 to 60 kilogram steel roller. Immediately afterwards, you can start welding the joints. First, the joints should be grooved to the appropriate depth with an automatic grooving machine and at the edges with a hand grooving machine. The joints should be cleaned from debris. For the hot welding, use a 4.5 millimeter Grabo weld welding cord which is available in a rich color choice. Hot welding can be carried out with the Leister automatic machine and at the edges use the Leister Triac manual welding tool. After the welding seam has cooled down, remove the excessive welding rod in two steps. First cut off the half of the welding rod using a trimming guide and a quarter moon knife. Then cut the remaining weld to plane with a quarter moon knife. According to the request of the customer, the edges can be finished with a wooden or plastic profiles. A few weeks later we visited the school. We were glad to see the happy students safely play in sports on our sports flooring. The advantages of the semi-loose lace sports floor installation compared with the fully glued installation are the following. Cost and consumption of the glue is only 10 to 15 percent, reduced installation time, less possibility of making errors during the installation, reduced labor cost. It is easier to remove the semi-loose lake covering from the subfloor. 